Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're well. We are back, <coughs> excuse me, we are back in Pine Valley Zoo. Uh, last episode was really good. I really enjoyed the last episode. There's a lot of detail around here with the uh, flower beds and these lovely pillars of flowers and the edging. I think I did this in the last episode around the, uh, the wooden walls here. And yeah, it's all worked out really nicely. I think this, this whole area is looking really good now. Um, thanks for all your feedback. Everyone seems to be enjoying what I'm doing, so that's really good. Um, now someone, I do apologise, I've forgotten who you are, I didn't write down your name unfortunately, but someone uh, did mention about the lack of detailing on these lower walls here. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of um, something on here. Uh, I'm going to do some ivy, because you can never have too much ivy growing on these walls, can you? Um, you're right, they, they do look a little bit bare. I think these walls so a bit of ivy here and there I think will work really nicely not too much doesn't need to be too over the top uh, just you know just enough so that it looks occupied um, now I'm not sure about yeah I don't want to mix the ivies I'm not sure if I really want uh, anything up the top here I don't think that's quite gonna work. Hmm. No, it kind of. I don't know. Hang on, let's just put a couple on there and see. What do we think? Yeah, do you know what? Actually, I don't mind that. Yeah, I think that does look okay. Yeah, and a couple of bits growing down here. And actually, let's just get one little bit on there as well. What's that? That's a funky corner piece there. That's mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. Not not. I'm I'm not entirely convinced. Maybe yeah. Maybe actually, if I yeah, that looks better. We continue right to the corner there. Yeah, yeah. So just a little bit of detailing there. I could do a little bit over here as well. Again, let's just take it into that corner so it looks like it. It grows right into the corner there with the uh, <clears throat> with the flowers, and I could get a bit down here as well. Something like that, and then maybe just one more piece up over here as well. Let's bring it into this corner. There we go. Don't want to go too over the top with it. Just yeah, just a, just a little bit of greenery covering up those big sort of flat areas. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Um, right. So the the main plan today is this area just here. So uh, gardening for health and well-being. Thank you once more for another great suggestion. You came up with a name for our cafe area which was the Bear Growls Cafe. So I really like that title. So what I want to do is make a sign up here. My, I do apologize, my computer is really running quite badly today and I have no idea why. I've got nothing else going on in the background, but it keeps lagging for some reason. It's very annoying. Right, so I've got a bit of an idea, but I don't really know what bear stuff we've got that I can use. Ooh, that's nice. Let's plonk one of them down. I do like that. Not so keen on these. I think, no, don't like them. That's not going to work. Might be able to use that. Ah, no. Wrong sort of bear, unfortunately. Yeah, so there's not a lot in the way of signs, which is a shame. But there we go. Now I'll see what I can do. So my, my thinking is, yeah, probably probably this so I think um, I can probably do too wide yeah this is easily what well, those are four meters each so this is yeah it's quite wide isn't it it's about 12 meters and these are these are only um, four each so <coughs> excuse me whoops didn't mean to do that right here we go 
right let's um these yeah so the idea is that i want to do a backdrop of planks uh, and then use letters uh, the in-game writing to create the name in front of them and then decorate it with various uh, signs and other decorations and then I want to build the whole thing into a big flower bed up on top of the roof with the sign in amongst lots of foliage that's my basic idea and we'll just have to see what happens so I want to use these lovely letters here these 3d ones so let's let's put some down and we'll see what I can do so we want bear Uh, are we bear? Not quite sure how I'm going to do this. Just I plonk it on for now and see what it looks like. Bear growls. I may have, may just have to move these in a little bit actually. Yeah, kind of running out of space. That's fine. I can play around with that. Okay, nearly there. And let's get cafe in underneath. So I can do the cafe in the middle, I think. Not sure what colour I'll do these. But probably a mix of browns, I would have thought. Bear Growls Cafe. Okay, so what do I want to do with this? It's kind of tricky, really. I'm not going to be able to get it. Hmm. Right, I'll tell you what. Maybe I can fiddle around um, with the bear. Maybe... Yeah, if I get, how about, right, yeah, this 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 will work. Because signs can look a bit boring if they're, they're all flat and, you know, perfectly spaced and whatever anyway. So you don't want it looking too, you know, generically sort of rectangular. So that adds a little bit of something to it, doesn't it? And then I'm thinking, oh, hang on, let's just quit out of that. Actually, let's just combine these all into one thing. So I'm thinking I can try and get this potentially kind of sunk in behind here somehow. Right, let's make this a nice brown. Okay, well that's a, that's a start. Okay, let's get bit more colour going on these right so let's find some different browns that one looks good and then I'm thinking maybe a lighter one actually maybe a maybe a darker brown yeah a dark one and then a kind of a yellowy brown maybe for this something a bit more yeah something like yeah, there we go. Like a coffee, a coffee brown. Okay, that's all. Oh, that's coming together quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay, we can get, I reckon, one of them down in the corner there. Uh, this statue is probably just going to have to go as a slightly separate thing. Uh, let's have a look at our signs because we've got in here. We've got all sorts of. Um, sort of naturey things, haven't we? Like leaves and trees. There's clouds and vines. I think we've got vines. No, the clouds aren't really going to work here, are they? Um, what have we got? Thought bubbles, triangles, all sorts. Ah, right, right. These are all the animals. Uh, so we've got big leaves that I can colour. 
but that actually the, these leaves are better because they're already colored and, and looking good yeah they look really good actually really like that so I'll just start sort of just plonking some of these on and then I'll kind of figure out where I want them once they're in place I love doing this sort of thing you can be you can be really creative with them right how about some trees in in the background maybe add a bit of height see so I think this is the sort of thing I probably want to have it coming up in the, the back like that um, and then we've got one yeah somewhere in there I think might look good I probably have to color these green I would say uh, let's just move that one a bit higher yeah that's good um, do we want vines anywhere not sure if oh that's that's quite a nice looking vine actually isn't it that one could work let's just bring that up and up so it looks like it is connected yep that looks good don't think I need a another one well, maybe I do maybe oh yeah actually that looks all right doesn't it and then I, I might um, yeah, let's just take that out there right is there anything else oh there is there's more leaves isn't there yeah got these little leaves these look kind of cool I think I might be able to use a couple of these maybe like this I love the, this sort of thing where you just, you just keep on adding until you think you've done too much that's usually what I end up doing and you suddenly think oh no this that's a bit that's a bit over the top um, I'm not convinced by this one maybe it needs to be yeah it needs to be at a different angle like that up behind that one yeah that's better isn't it that I think is a good looking sign I don't think it needs anything else but you know what actually there we go that looks good I like that fine don't think it needs this but let's just play around with it and see because you just never know sometimes you just want to put something on and see what it looks like let's just sink that in actually yeah, I do quite like that like I said you just keep on adding keep on going and you get there in the end what is that that is one of the weirdest looking signs I mean I know what the animal is a, a proboscis monkey it's got a funky nose but that's just a weird sign isn't it anyway okay so let's color something what do we want to do with these I don't think I want anything left white these definitely need to be a brown of some sort actually that looks that looks more gray than brown doesn't it let's just keep going no that's that needs to be yes yeah, it looks they look a different color than it was the same brown as that but because it's a different material it does look a different color okay that's yeah that's yeah no this one what does this one need to be I think this one needs to be darker let's try and go wow it's not really taken that color is it at all it just seems to kind of stay the same once you're down there maybe it needs to be a lighter one okay let's go lighter I'm not really convinced by this one either I feel like it it wants to be I can't get it dark it doesn't seem to go any darker than that even if you put it right right in the corner there hmm it's a bit odd
Okay, that's cool. Uh, right, and I'm thinking probably a green. Uh, let's go right in here. Let's try and find something. Yeah. Oh, yes, a nice light green, I think, probably. I don't... Yeah, it's not going to look right if that's the same. So maybe just a... Yeah, a, a slightly different one. Is that right, or do I want this to be... Yeah, just a slight angle like that. Great, so then what I need to do is add on some legs so that it looks like it's actually supported by something. So let's go with one of these. Let's get the angle snap on. So that needs to not stick out the top, but it needs to cover the whole thing. And then I need to sync that in so that it's actually looking connected at the back, which I think that does. Okay, and then I want, I want one kind of halfway on this plank and one halfway on this plank, roughly. Okay, that looks good. Right, actually, let me just disconnect that from the group. Right, so let's move this up here, see what it looks like. And obviously it needs to be um, upright. I do hope I haven't made this too big. Right, let's get the angle snap off because that's a bit of an angle there. Well, I mean, it's, it is big, but actually I think that's fine because it stands out. You can see it from, from quite a way away. I mean, I mean that, that tree is kind of in the way from people as they walk around here. You, that, <laughs> yeah, that tree completely blocks it off. Uh, but obviously you get down here and you can see it. You might be able to see it from further away. I don't know. Hmm. That tree's yeah, that tree's quite annoying, isn't it? I might change this tree because I I quite like it so that as you come along here you see the sign, and that tree is just in the wrong place. So yeah, I think I'll move the tree. Uh, but this looks really good actually, right in the middle here. I think. Uh, yeah. Great. Let's, whoops. Right, let's move this tree. I'm all about eye lines, you know, when I play this game, that's how I think. I think like it's real. Uh, treat the zoo like it's actually a real place. And uh, it's kind of like a, it's, 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 it's like a, a merchandising thing in a shop almost, you know, you've got to make sure that your customer can see what you want them to see. So they go there and spend their money. Um, so when you see a sign like that, you go, ah, cafe, nice. I'll go up the steps and see what's there. So yeah, cool, I like that, that's brilliant. Right, so what I wanna do underneath is turn this into a flower bed. So I'm gonna do that with beams, I think. So let's combine this into the building. Um, and what I'm thinking is that I wanna create uh, a border. So let's just take that into there. Um, uh, so yeah, so I'll create this edge and then I will duplicate it upwards to make a, a raised border. And I will then turn this into a flower bed. Okay. Okay, let's double that up like so. Let's find our nature and let's get some soil. So I don't want this um, I don't want this flower bed to look really sort of really full up. Um, Alright, what do we think here? Let's yeah. Yeah, I don't want it to, to swamp the sign. Uh, but at the same time, I want it to look relatively busy, you know. And I guess I might... Oh, am I going to... 
Okay, yeah, that's fine. There we go. Great. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, so at the back here, I was going to put some hedging up here, but I think what I'll do first is some uh, rock work. Uh, let's get rid of both of them. Let's try that again. So, yeah, I'll get some rocks in here, ones that aren't intruding on the path, and then I can fill in the gaps with uh, with hedging. Uh, so let's just create a basic backdrop here for some foliage in front. Um, okay, let's go there. Let's, no, that's the wrong shape. I think that might be okay if I can get it. No, that's no. Uh, let's go. Let's go big and flat, shall we? Hang on, that's not quite going to work either. I don't think. I don't want it poking through anywhere. No, let's just go with this one then. I was trying to use different rocks, but it just wasn't quite going to fill the gap properly. Okay, that's good. Uh, and let's just let's just detail down this way a little bit more. Don't need too much there. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then I can actually let's just get one or two little ones as well. Uh, yeah, and then I, I can fill in gaps with um, with foliage. Yeah, good. Okay, I like that. Right, let's just get this painted. Get rid of that long grass there. Uh, actually, I should probably make this. Uh, a, a, I don't know. Let's go with a heavy soil, actually. There we go. Great. Right, so what sort of foliage do I want on here? Do I want any trees? I think I probably do. Let's uh, Let's get... Seeing as we are in Pine Valley, it makes sense to have pine trees in here doesn't it do I want something bushy I quite like these I've not used these ones yet but actually I might I might like one of them as the the main backdrop for this see that looks that looks a bit big I think one of them let's hang on, let's just see what that looks like do you know I don't mind that just as that sort of basic backdrop let me just see if uh, yeah actually that that one's better I would say let's get rid of whoops let's if I can highlight it <laughs> it's not gonna work now is it ah oh, come on right let's get rid of that one and let's bring this one down Oh, look, I've messed that rock up there, haven't I? Right, let's see if I can actually fit this in without it sticking right over the pathways. I don't mind if this one goes right up to the back of the sign. I just don't want it sticking through the, the walkways if I can get it turned in the right way. Right, that's okay there. That's okay there. Good. There we go. Great. Right, let me just sort this rock out. There we go. Right, what do we think? Yeah, I think that makes a really nice backdrop to that that sign actually. So let's continue with this bit of the sign. Um, I guess I want oh what do I want? Scavola, that's what I want. Let's get our bushes. Let's go down to Scavola. I really like this as a as a sort of a, a ground plant and you can just have it spilling over the front there like that as well it looks really nice because this doesn't need to be a overly complicated flower bed it can look quite simple really all right let's not have it spilling into there let's just bring that back like that does that look okay 
that looks good yeah I like that um, let's get a little bit of color in there at the, maybe just at the back here just covering up a bit of that soil that we've got yeah that's that's good um, do I want any more color no probably not um, I think maybe just down in this corner here because we, we've kind of got a little bit of a gap there let's just create a little bush there and then maybe over in this corner as well actually and then because you don't want it all looking symmetrical let's get some of this in the back here as well that's good okay what do we want in the front maybe a little splash of that no that's not good um, no we don't want a tree no 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 um i want what do i want uh let's let's go palm because we got uh we've got palms down here so i'm wondering if i can use something similar up here sunk in like so so they're kind of growing out and then i could actually i could really lean it forward so it looks like it's kind of exploding like that um, I could probably just get one sunk back here somewhere as well so you've got to think this uh, this flower bed is going to be viewed from this staircase here as well actually look I've just realized that bit of wood goes through there I need to sort that out let's get that in there as well so yes from from, from here you're not really seeing that one but obviously as you walk up the steps here you are so you've got to bear in mind that these things are getting viewed from different angles yeah that looks nice um do i want anything else in here no that would just look silly i like it yeah i'm pretty happy with that actually i don't think it needs any more i'll tell you what it, it is going to get we still got our little bear statue and he is definitely coming in here somewhere no let's not have him right in the middle actually I could get him kind of standing in the undergrowth like that what do we think yeah I like that so he's kind of tucked away because you, you've got this bear sort of um, little silhouette of a bear there so i didn't want him on that side makes sense for him to come over to this side bear growls cafe do you know what i am really pleased with that i think that looks really nice how does it look from back here well yeah i mean it's tricky with the back of the sign because you can't really hide all of this stuff um the only way i could do it really was by bringing these planks duplicating the planks back but i, I don't think that's going to look particularly good let me just try it and we'll see so if I actually duplicate them back like that actually yeah I like that that does work because it just covers everything up a bit doesn't it makes the back look a bit tidier yeah that's good great really happy with that actually that's that's worked out a bit better than I expected ah but I was just going to change this so I need to get rid of that I need to make this a short one and hope that that works. Yes, it does. Look at that. I'm so glad that they have long and short versions of a lot of these items. <laughs> really solves a lot of problems. Brilliant. Right. Yeah, very pleased with that. Not sure what I'm doing on this one yet. Because um, I'm going to have an animal in here. So this may be incorporated into this enclosure. So I'm probably not going to detail this one just yet. Uh, we'll see. I still want to do something more here. So actually, let's go back into this and use these beams again, because I love these beams. And uh, they do work really well on here. Now, is that? Yeah, let's... Um, let's see i think um i usually use these 
turn this way for these counters I think they just look really cool um, I tell you what, I'll probably yeah I'll have it here going into the bush and I'll just bring it all the way across and have it going into that bush so it looks like one long counter kind of joins the whole thing together I think that looks good uh, and then I'll probably duplicate it backwards as well like so let's just make sure that covers the whole thing there we go yeah I like that that looks nice um, need some framing on here I would say as well uh, let's see I don't know if this is going to look too chunky if I bring that up to the top let's just space that evenly what do we think no I, I quite like that actually I think that looks fine um, right so I can potentially do something with this as well uh, whether I do want to cover up something like that take that in a little bit I don't mind that it sticks through the top and the bottom actually I think that looks pretty good yeah I'm happy with that yeah just creates a nice little window doesn't it that's a nice yeah nice detail um, still feel like I want to do some more up here um, I really wish there were better media screens for this sort of thing like menus I had this issue before didn't I um, because you can let me just see what can you put on here uh, okay what is it this is a pip shot isn't it okay hang on maybe this is maybe this is gonna work then if I do uh, a video is there a pip shot somewhere here No, right, hang on, that's all the animals. I don't want animals. What have we got here? Pip shot. Is there a pip shot anywhere? No, you've got gold peas and um No. Oh that's annoying, isn't it? It's only got certain ones on there. hmm how disappointing so I can have like a chief beef type thing what videos are there yes look at that I mean that's a great video just they just don't seem to have many of them I'm not missing any am I default what's default I've selected a shop for it to be advertising but I'm assuming that doesn't actually do anything no okay well I'll tell you what let's um, let's just get back into our signs and maybe just get some um, some pip shop signs instead what do we have yeah that's a nice looking sign so let's get a, a pip shop smoothie there and then we've got what is this one I always forget hot dog squad let's see if there's something similar yeah there we go There. doesn't need any more than that nice and simple brilliant liking that right and I'll do the same over here what was this one this one was the loony balloons right while I'm doing this um, I just want to give you guys a bit of a heads up now as I'm sure many of you are aware the football world cup is starting soon in fact tomorrow I'm recording this on Saturday night um, so the yeah the football world cup will be starting tomorrow um, and I, I'm not a massive football fan but I am a big sports fan and I love these big events so I am going to be spending time watching the football over the next few weeks um, which obviously may affect my uh, ability to do so much recording hopefully not I've I have got uh, a TV next to my computer monitor here now so I can actually watch while I'm recording so I may well have to do that but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up just in case the content output isn't as regular over the next few weeks 
that is why. So please do forgive me, uh, but these things only come around every, well, in this case, every four years. Um, so it is something that I do like to in, enjoy. Um, you know, you have to you have to have these things in life, don't you? For my sins, I do enjoy a bit of football. So yes, yeah, so hope hopefully I can still keep um, the content coming. But uh, yeah, just wanted to make you aware. Um, there we go. I don't know why it keeps pausing like that. It's very annoying. Right, let's just get that in the right spot, and then let's bring our little side pieces in. Let's just take that back a little bit, and up a little bit, and down a little bit. There we go. Do I get this? Uh, yeah, I don't mind covering that up actually. I think that looks good. Great. Yep, I am pretty happy with all that. Great. Well, I think we've done a pretty good job there. Like I said, there will be more detailing on this one when and if, well, yeah, when I decide what's happening around here. Um, but this one now is looking pretty damn good, I think. I'm really happy with how this sign has turned out. So there we go. I think I'm going to leave the episode there. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like my sign? Do you like the name? If you do, you can uh, you can thank um, Gardening for Health and Wellbeing. You suggested the name and there it is. Um, so thanks for that. If you like the name, well done. If you don't like the name, uh, go on, you can blame me if you don't like the name because I put it in. So there we go. Great. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you could hit the like button for me. Please do keep all your comments and suggestions and ideas coming because they are fantastic. And um, next episode, I will do some detailing around the end of the staircase over here, coming up into this area, working on our, our viewing platform over here and, and detailing around the top of the stairs here. Um, and then I guess eventually I'm going to start coming up and doing the station. I'll probably do I'll probably do the station before I do any more habitat stuff. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the station yet. I haven't really decided. It will probably be a very different looking station uh, to the one back at the start over here. Uh, it may well be much simpler. But uh, yeah. I haven't really decided yet. We'll just have to see where the wind takes me. Uh, but there we go. That's uh, that's today's episode. So thank you very much. And hopefully I will see you soon. Until then, do take care. Bye for now.